Hi Virgo, welcome to your November reading 2019. We are nearly through the year already and I can't quite believe it. I woke up this morning and I felt like doing your reading. That's weird as well because that came out in the shuffle. Page of Wands. Let's put him down there. Okay, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Cross Watchers, anybody else who is drawn to the video, welcome. Welcome to the video. Let's get some messages for Virgo. What does Virgo need to know? November 2019. Moving on. That came up as well. Oh my God. Some of you are dealing with a fire sign. I got three fire cards already. Oh, ooh, some of you dealing with an earth sign. There will be an extended reading, Virgo, and the link is in ooh, the description box and also pinned in the comments section. So if you get to the end of the video and you want to know more, that's where you go. Ooh, ooh. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. God. A bit of an ongoing situation here, Virgo, for you. Yes, which has required you to have quite a lot of patience. That's the last couple of readings. Oh, hello, baby, that I've done for you, Virgo. That's nice. It was all looking a little bit pedestrian until I pulled that card. You're welcome, Ace of Cups. Okay, we have a lot of stuff going on cards and rumbling on and patience and not really knowing what's happening type energy. Now remember we are, we kicked off, well there's a new moon in Scorpio on the 28th of October. For me the middle of your reading sums up that new moon in Scorpio. Here we have the snaky haired ladies, I call them the Dementors from Harry Potter and they are talking about what you fear, what you fear the most, who you fear the most, the subject you fear the most, whatever it is, it's about paranoia, jealousy, it's about future thinking, what's going on, driving yourself nuts in your head with, um, and it's a very Virgoan thing, you know, Virgos are brilliant thinkers and they are brilliant doers and they are brilliant organisers. Even if you're scatty and messy, which some Virgos are, it means that, you know, for example, with a Virgo, if there was a receipt from 10 years ago and it's in a pile of old you know what, they can still pull it out. OK, but sometimes your organised way of thinking, Virgo, organises itself into some destructive thoughts which then go on and on like an earworm and that is the nine of swords energy. It's also the energy of self-doubt. You can see it. You can see that kind of torment. Voices in the head, you know, that whole why didn't you do this and could I have, if it would have been different if I'd have done that. Okay. Next to that, the Ace of Swords in reverse, which is a card of confusion. The Ace of Swords, ultimately, here's Athene, okay, waggling around with this sword that is actually bigger than she is, which I really like. I can imagine her holding it up like that. Athene has this sword, the Ace of Swords kind of, woof, goes up the crown chakra like that, for now, for now, and gives you knowledge, epiphanies. Um, you can't doubt it, you know, I know this is this, I know this is that. You've got it in the reverse, which is the kind of not knowing and the kind of confusion, which for some of you has been going on with another person or situation for months or even a year or so, because aces for me represent a significant slab of time. This confusion has caused you to make things up in your head which is what we do when we don't have any answers. What are we supposed to do if we don't have any answers? You've got to make it up in your head. You know, I can see why you're doing it. Now, there's some interesting, I've got two knights in the reading as well. I've got the knight of wands in the reverse and that came up in the shuffle in the reverse, exactly the same. And I put it back because I thought, you know, I'm not feeling it. If it wants to pop back out, it did. Knight of Wands in the reverse. So someone 
This could be about a relationship or a situation that started quite swiftly. The Knight of Wands can be the person who sweeps you off your feet or things accelerating quickly. But of course, with the Knight of Wands, and I notice here, you know, he's got a mask on. He is quite urgent and passionate, possibly a fire sign because I've got a couple of fire sign cards here for you. Sometimes when there's a lot of passion, there's some confusion that goes with it and things move very quickly for a few weeks or months and then they very quickly change into confusion. And the same, and this is what I'm getting for you, Virgo, the same heat of passion, the same intensity that you had with this person has intensified and introverted and turned into intense confusion. And that intense confusion does not sit well with Virgo because Virgo's like a, they like a map. And I don't mean that all Virgos can, you know, it's a bit of a cliche to say all Virgos love a map and they can read a map. I don't mean that. I just mean that you do in your head or in your soul or wherever it is, like to know where the danger zones are. You like to know what's going on. Okay. And you don't. Okay. So. We have a lot of difficult astrology around that new moon in Scorpio on the 31st, which is Halloween. Mercury goes retrograde in Scorpio, which is for me a huge pullback into deepness. You know, Scorpio is a deep sign. It's a sign of secrets and no secrets, secrets and lies. You know, it's a sign of uncovering what is darkly hidden. And notice in the Nine of Swords, the look of the card. It almost seems like there's a cave. Oh, I've got some kind of biro on my hand. <laughs> there's a cave um, in the distance here, okay, that needs going in because that's where these women are springing up from, okay? That's where the snaky haired ladies are finding their leverage with you. There's a darkness you don't want to look at. There's a darkness you may have even just put in a box and buried, okay? And it has something to do with confusion about another person not coming forward, being forward, or something not progressing in the way that it should. Now, Mercury goes retrograde and then we're into November. In 23rd of November, the sun goes into Scorpio and you just think, poof, okay, <laughs> that's a lot to contend with. It just feels like, it feels like uncovering the past is what I'm getting really strongly in the top of my head for you, okay? You're going to be uncovering the past. This could be a revelation of a secret. I'm also getting for you the energy that I've had for a couple of other signs, Cancer and Aquarius, which was the energy of a missing person, the energy of a lost person, the energy of somebody in hiding, someone silent. And then you get as an overall energy card, the Eight of Wands, which I really like. So we've got Leo, Aries and Sagittarius on the table, that kind of energy. We've got fire energy. We also have over here, I'm interested, very interesting actually, the Knight of Pentacles with the King of Pentacles. Now, of course, we have a page, a knight and a king of pentacles and it's your suit. It's the earth suit and it's a careful, measured patience. I mean, look at them. This guy is the reliable messenger and he takes his time, but he doesn't get lost. You know, he's nothing like that Knight of Wands who sometimes is so excited by the journey that he overshoots the mark or he, you know, falls off a cliff or he doesn't get there or he shoots straight past you or he throws the message. Knight of Pentacles is some kind of measured patience. Now, if it develops into the king, it's like I am the king of patience. And Virgo, maybe you are, maybe you're the king of patience on this. I like that energy for you. I like, I like the amount of coins that he's accumulating. Now that patience might have to see you right through Mercury retrograde and out to the other side. I'm kind of feeling that. 
because the eight of wands is a Sagittarius energy. It's messages coming in, people communicating, things moving forward, something happening. Sometimes it indicates you go on a trip or a journey or you travel because obviously it has the overseas element to it. It's making me itchy. But I feel it's breaking a spell of secrecy with a person somehow. Either you do, they do, or you both do. And then look, this big fat juicy ace of cups, which is gorgeous, quite honestly. This is lovely energy. Some of you, you may be meeting somebody new with this ace of cups, and I quite strongly get that. It may be a fellow earth sign. We've got the king of pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or just somebody... This is either someone you've been waiting for, and if it's someone new, it's the kind of person you've been waiting for for a long time, okay? If you've been like online dating or something like that, and you've been rejecting flaky people, which, you know, if you're online dating, rejecting flaky people does become a bit of a full-time job, then this is about that paying off, okay? about meeting someone who is not flaky. Someone who is the king of pentacles energy, is someone who turns up on time, someone who calls on time, someone who does what they say they're gonna do, okay? That is very interesting. So if, you're, if you've been holding out for a hero, as they say, that is it, king of pentacles. This can be male or female, by the way, but it's someone who knows who they are, they know where they are, they may even have it together in terms of um, being employed, <laughs> you know, but not just employed, knowing what they're doing, doing, doing what they like to do for money, having their own home, being settled, a stable person, an actual stable, normal, normal human being, okay, which, you know, when you're dating, that's hard to find. If this is somebody you've been waiting for, particularly if this is a fire sign, that you've been waiting for, something happens where love trumps confusion. The Ace of Cups in the upright trumps the Ace of Swords in the reverse. You know, the heart wins over the head. Now, I don't know if it's your heart or head because you've been up in your head a lot with that Nine of Swords or if it's theirs or if it's both, okay? I'm gonna be looking in the extended reading at the Eight of Wands the Ace of Cups, the Nine of Swords, but also I'm going to just pull some extra cards. Four of Swords, making peace. Making peace with where you are. I think some of you have already been making peace with not being with a person or not having anyone who's stable and reliable turning up in your life. Up here, I've got the Queen of Wands. Now, that's interesting, because normally, Virgo, I would say that isn't you. But I think this time it is. It's normally my third party card, I have to say, but I'm not really getting that scenario particularly. Queen of Wands is someone who is quite sassy. And I feel in the last two months of readings for you, my lovely Virgos, that you have been bringing some sass, which is not a Virgo thing. But it's good to see. You may have been rejecting what you don't want. You may have been quite, um, not forceful, but certainly you're no pushover. You've learned, I think, the hard way not to be accepting crumbs, okay? Virgo is a sign of service and you can find yourself kind of running around after other people, being a bit too useful, actually. A bit too of service when they're not really giving back to you and I feel like some of you have kind of like no I don't think so if you have it looks like it's paying off okay let's have a look at some Chuck Spezzano love cards oh hello yes we get withdrawal now, I don't really see that as a problem. I see that as a bonus. I think you withdrew your services. I think this came up in last month's reading, actually. Yes! This is nice. 
Oh, I like this. Good. Chuck Spezzano can be a bit harsh, which is why I use them, because they give you, you know, a true picture. But we like it. Right. Withdrawal, which I think is what you've done. Good for you. Shaking of hand. Receiving. It's time for you to be receiving, not just giving, okay? And play. That for me is dates. Whether it's with somebody you're reuniting with, whether it's with somebody new, it's my getting out and having fun on dates card, okay? This Ace of Cups is either someone bringing in a new opportunity to you, a new relationship, especially if you've been single for a long time by choice and you've been rejecting a lot of the chaff, you know? You're getting a big old thing of wheat, not the chaff. Hooray! And for others of you, just a few of you, there is a story of somebody where you've been waiting for things to become clear and something comes in during Mercury retrograde season, no doubt, okay? I like this for you, Virgo. I like it a lot. Check out my latest pick a card reading as well. Don't know how do they feel about you one. That was pretty good. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. serendipity it pays off sometimes not making an effort and well it's not like not making an effort but not casting your pearls before swine really does pay off okay yes yes it is yes yes <laughs> it's a yes for divine timing that's what i mean you've waited knight of pentacles king of pentacles you have been confused, Ace of Swords, and you've stuck with that confusion and you've made peace with it and you get rewarded. Ding, ding, a ring, a ding, a ding, dong comes the Ace of Cups. Now, Virgo, I'm going to zip over to Vimeo and do the extended reading right now for the Ace of Cups, for the Eight of Wands, seeing if we can put a face to any of these names, a name to the face. I don't know, seeing if we can identify somebody, pulling some Romance Angel Oracle cards, some more tarot cards. I'll see you over there or otherwise subscribe to the channel and I'll see you soon. Namaste.